Hello and welcome to the first episode of Dare to Dream with Djibouti. Now there's a lot of information that I've got to get across to you guys in this episode. But don't worry, I will get it done as quick as possible so you guys understand what the rules are for this series. Now I've said this a couple of times in my live streams that I did a forum post when the 2010 World Cup game came out about this road to World Cup with Djibouti. And we eventually won the World Cup with Djibouti. I would give you the forum link, but unfortunately EA have took the forums down. But nevertheless, the memories are still there, and I would like to do it again in this World Cup game. But there's going to be a slight twist, because when I did the forum post, I was only playing on semi-professional. Obviously, I can't do it on a greater difficulty, because the team was that bad. But now that I'm a YouTuber, I have to play on a greater difficulty. So I'm giving the chance for the Djibouti players to upgrade themselves with good performances. If they have a 7.0 rating at the end of the game, they go up 1 overall. If they have a 9.0 rating or higher, they go up 2 overall. Before every game, we have 3 training sessions, and the winner of each drill will get an improvement of 1 overall. There's also a 1 overall increase for Man of the Match and 1 overall increase for good play in-game. So that's basically a 1 on 1 save for the keeper, a great sliding challenge and a magnificent goal or a fantastic assist. And whilst I've been yapping on about that, the first training session has taken place. Let's have a look at the results. Joint first in the passing drill was Ahmed Id and Liban. Amid it going from a 42 to a 43, Liban from a 41 to a 42. Charmer won the dribbling training, he goes from a 43 to a 44. And finally Samatar wins the defending training, he goes from a 42 to a 43. And with them improvements in place, let's go and play today's match. It's Djibouti against Liberia in the first game of this series. And it's a welcome back to my PlayStation 3 fan. Now, I'm going to play this game on world class. If it is too difficult for me, then I will drop it down to professional for the time being. Um, I'm trying to get it onto world class as soon as possible. And with the players increasing in overall, it shouldn't be too long until I can make that step. Well, this is either going to be fun or frustrating. Probably a mixture of both, but... We'll soon see if this is going to be difficult or easy. I doubt it's going to be easy. I've got to learn everybody's first names. But that should be easy enough. Abubakar. Back to Darar. Wassamar again. Trying to open up the Liberian defence. It's a great tackle, but Hussein has it again for Djibouti. We will not let them rest. I wish that you could actually increase the skill moves of the players, but in the edit player section, there's no uh, option to do that. So, unfortunately, we will have to have the uh, standard skill moves of the players, which will probably be one star, two star, maybe three star at most. The problem is we could make an opportunity... And still probably not take it because of the bad finishing on the strikers. Shocking pass. What the hell was that? Lads, wake up. We are Djibouti. We cannot give up. Wassama. Yes. Dara. We finally got into their box. It's a handball. I don't care. Give it as ref. Dara. Oh my god. Can we just have 10 seconds of the ball to deflection and it's a corner to Djibouti. Come on, lads. Samatar in. Why is the centre back doing the corners? What's going on? Hussein. Oh, bollocks. There's a Bubakar. Yes. Yes. Here it is. Score it. Yes. We take the lead against Liberia on world class. Oh, we got enough. We got enough for this difficulty. We'll play throughout the campaign on this difficulty. I might even move it up to legendary. Oh, this is bad. 
Good save. That might warrant a one plus overall for the keeper. So that's it, half time. And Djibouti have scored. Djibouti are leading. This is a great result at the moment. As it stands, a great result for the nation. Keeper, keeper, keeper. What the fuck? Why the fuck did the keeper just let that go? Liban. Oh, yeah. That turn. That turn. You know, son. Oh, them ball rolls, mate. Oh, oh, it's, it's literally the only skill move that that guy can do. Go on, Wasama. Oh, what a pass through. Amid it is onside. With some stamina. Oh, my God. It's like watching Sunday League football. Oh, yes. Wasama. Oh, it's not in. It's not going. Oh, my God. He deserved that goal as well. He's been the best player on the pitch. Oh, here we go again. Oh, it's 1-1 right at the end. No. I was just about to celebrate the first win with Djibouti. And the fantastic keeper today has finally conceded the goal. The defence are distraught. Just think to yourself, we were that close to going 2-0 in front and it was cleared off the line. And in the last bloody minute they score. Full time here in Djibouti. It finished Djibouti 1, Liberia 1. Every player with a 7.0 or more rating goes up and overall. Also, Wassima, the midfielder, got the Man of the Match award, which means he goes up two overall in total. This has been Cutsy. Hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Dare to Dream with Djibouti. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.